in the chilling underbelly of the everyday, creeping unseen through the fabric of our world, lurks a horror unlike any other. A figure shrouded in mystery, swathed in the cloak of an ancient symbol of affection, is a terror that stalks in the shadows. They call him Tainted Cupid, a name that resonates with a cruel irony and a touch of despair. But Tainted Cupid is no ordinary cherub, no bearer of romantic tidings. His arrows, instead of igniting love, annihilate it. And with it, they bring heart-wrenching pain and terror. Once he was just Cupid, the bringer of love, the matchmaker of the heavens. But something twisted, something froze his heart into a block of ice. A love lost, a love betrayed, the details are lost in the mists of time. What is clear though is his new purpose, to obliterate love, to shatter bonds, to annihilate the very thing he once cherished, and to inflict a terror that resonates in the hearts of those who dare to love. Gone is the golden bow of old, now replaced by tainted Cupid's instrument of horror, a haunting obsidian crossbow. Each arrow, blacker than the darkest night, is a foreboding herald of impending doom. With his terrifyingly precise aim, he hunts for lovers, striking with merciless accuracy at the very moment their bond seems unbreakable. And with a single horrifying shot, he incinerates their love, leaving behind only the charred remains of a once beautiful affection. The sight of this dreadful weapon instills a fear so potent, it lingers long after the arrow has found its mark a chilling reminder of tainted Cupid's destructive power. What could possibly drive someone to such extremes? The answer lies deep within his own heart. A heart that once knew the joy of love and the agony of its loss. Tainted Cupid is a testament to the transformative power of pain. His motivation, his drive, springs from a well of sorrow that never dries. The uncertainty of his plans adds an extra layer of horror to this tale. Some say he seeks to create a world devoid of love a world where no one has to suffer the agony of a broken heart. Others whisper that he is on a quest for redemption, a misguided attempt to shield others from the pain he himself has experienced. But the why pales in comparison to the what. The what is what sends shivers down spines. The what is what makes Tainted Cupid a figure to be feared. For he has set his sights on a world where love no longer exists, a world where relationships crumble to dust at his whim. As the tale of Tainted Cupid unfolds, a question hangs in the air, heavy with dread. What will be the outcome of his ominous endeavor? Will he succeed in his quest to eradicate love? Or will there be a force strong enough to thwart his plans? However, the answer to that question, dear listeners, is a tale for another time. For now, Tainted Cupid lurks in the shadows, his obsidian arrow poised, ready to strike. His final plan, his ultimate aim, remains a mystery. A chilling reminder that in the game of love and loss, some players are not what they seem. And as the story of Tainted Cupid continues to unfold, one thing is certain. Love, as we know it, is under threat. And so, we wait, with bated breath and pounding hearts, for the next chapter in the saga of Tainted Cupid. For now, as the echoes of his obsidian arrow reverberate through the silence, we are left to wonder, what will become of love in a world where Tainted Cupid reigns?